In today's banger video, we are gonna try to beat Minecraft, but there are custom swords. Of course, these custom swords have insanely OP powers and abilities that can either kill us or make us OP and help us to destroy the Ender Dragon. So guys, watch the whole video until the end to find out if I could beat the Ender Dragon or not. And of course, all the powers and abilities of all the custom swords. While you guys are at it, while you guys are here, make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Yup, this is definitely gonna be chaotic enough talk sit back relax let's head right into the video hope you guys enjoy the video ender dragon's head what what is that doing in my inventory wait it is actually a dragon's head why and how did i even get this dragon's head i mean as soon as i spawned in the world boom i had the dragon's head for some reason yeah so listen i have no idea when why and how did i even get this dragon's head but i do know one thing i do know exactly no on what to use the dragon's head on. And that is on ourselves. What? Yeah, there we go. Look at how dumb and stupid I look. Anyways, that's not the reason why we got the dragon's head. The ender dragon's head is one of the items for one of the custom swords. Now let's start working for all the custom swords. For the first custom sword, we need two glass and one stick. And as you guys can see, there's a lot of sand here. So you know what? Let's start doing the basics first. So let's go ahead and get some wood and a crafting table now let's make some sticks a garbage wooden pickaxe and now time to mine some stones with the garbage wooden pickaxe to get cobblestones and then craft the stupid super slow stone tools and also the two furnaces now there's a, a lot of coal here i will gladly take all of them because we need all these coal to of course melt all the sands we are about to get and of course all the irons gold and stuff now all we need to do is we just have to get two sands and boom there we go we got it that was easy now let me do that and that there we go we are now smelting two sands and by the way guys while all these uh, sands are smelting do not waste your time make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and there it is we got all the glasses done and we got the stick as well so stick right over there and two glasses above the stick there we go knowledge book when we click it we get an iron sword no it says invisible sword oh that sounds interesting okay Okay, let's test it out. So if I hit this cat, what the heck just happened to that cow? Why is it? Wait, hold on. First of all, it is invisible. Second of all, why is it glowing? Why do you have glowing and invisibility effect? What is wrong with you? So that is all the sword does. Yeah, it gives invisibility and glowing for the mob that I hit. All right, well, that's kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, now time to move on to the next custom sword. And for that, we have to find some copper. Now that means we have to find a cave. Is this a cave? I don't know, but I don't care. There we go. We found some copper and that is gonna give me like two. No, okay four. cool cool I'll take it and that is, that is more than enough. Oh, there's also gravel right here Let me get a flint real quick and boom. There we go We got the flint now again Let's start smelting all of these raw coppers that we got as well now guys again while it's uh, Smelting make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell. Anyways, there we go We okay, that's perfectly enough so now inside the crafting table, first of all, we have to make some lightning rods. Two of them. There we go. Now two of these lightning rods, just like that. And one stick below the lightning rod, we get the knowledge book. When we click it, we get a, a diamond sword. A lightning sword, it says. Oh, wow. Okay, cool. I'll take the diamond sword. Lightning. Okay, cool. That is also cool. It's just that it sounds really dangerous. That's it. I do hear a skeleton nearby. Are we nearby a big cave or something? Because I have to find some gold a lot of gold actually nine of them perfectly oh i think this is a cave okay oh hold on a second i also see a creeper oh yeah we need gunpowders we have to craft one tnt for one of the custom swords okay we are getting so many stuffs in this cave oh there we go we found some gold oh my goodness but i need iron i don't have any iron oh there we go we found it we found the iron as well 10 okay again let's start smelting all of them and again uh, why don't you guys hit the like subscribe Subscribe and the notification bell. I don't know why I keep doing this. Whenever I start smelting, I just start promoting my channel. What is wrong with me? I, I, I gotta stop doing that, actually. And there it is. We have four. Okay, perfect. First of all, of course, we have to craft the iron pickaxe. And there we go. And now let's mine all these gold.
gold over here. Oh my gosh, that's actually more than one. That's three weights. Okay, good. We exactly need six more. So come on, that is definitely a cave. And that is definitely gold right there. The witch is protecting it though. Please tell me that's more than one. No, that's one. Oh, there's more. Okay, and that is gonna be again another one weight. Man, I'm not gonna lie. These one weights, I hate them so much. Every time, every single time I found. Oh, I found gold by the way. As I was saying, every time I find something good, it's gonna be just one win. And we got one gunpowder. We need four more though. And I can see more than one win over here of gold. That is great. Oh, that's a lot of gold. 11. Okay, 11. That's more than enough. Let's get the heck out of here. We are almost done getting everything from inside the caves. All we need to get right now is two dripstones. That's it. So we have to find a dripstone cave. Oh, before we get inside the dripstone cave or find one let me go ahead and mine all of these diamonds here holy crap that's a lot of diamonds here okay yep i'm done we got all the diamonds from here i am very low i don't have any food to regain my health and stuff okay i'm just gonna get the heck out of here two hours later oh wait hold on we found it we found the dripstone block that is what we needed and all i need to do is get two and done yep that's it i'm done look at my condition right now we have one and a half hearts and two shanks now one and a half oh my okay i'm just gonna get the heck out of here let's get back to the surface and here we are we are back up in the surface now um is there any cow sheep or pigs nearby me because i need food i don't have anything to eat i don't have anything to heal myself okay this is looking really bad one shot from the skeleton or one shot from any zombies or anything or spider i am dead are you kidding me no i don't like this okay there's sheeps right there Oh gosh, thank you so much. Come on, sheep. Don't run away from me. I need your food. Now let's start smelting all the things we have. Oh, I'm saved. Look at my shanks, bro. I had one shank left. Are you kidding me? Anyways, you know what? Now that we have the two dripstone blocks, it's time for us to craft the next custom sword. And for that, all we need to do is inside the crafting table, if I place two of these dripstone blocks like that and one stick below the dripstone block, we get the knowledge book when we click it. We get a wooden sword. Oh, dripstone sword. Never mind. Oh, okay. That that sounds sick. Okay, I gotta. Tr okay, I haven't tried the lightning sword as well. And okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna be trying so many swords out right now. And there we go. Ten of the golds are done. So that means. That's a gold block. And that is what we need for one of the custom swords. Now, for the next custom sword, we have to find a lava pool. We need one lava and one TNT for the next custom sword. So, yeah. Let's just go ahead and try to find a lava pool. Oh, and there we go. We found it. We found the lava pool. And also, I got all the stuff needed for the next custom sword as well. Okay, so first of all, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a bed. Not only for respawn point, also to get rid of all these stupid and dumb skeletons and zombies can you stop it now it's time for us to craft the next custom sword so now inside the crafting table one stick right over there and on top of the stick one lava bucket and one tnt on top of the lava bucket there we go knowledge book when we click it we get an explosive sword uh, a stone sword explosion is awesome dude okay i have to test it out but first before i do that before i do anything Stupid. Let's just go ahead and make our own portal to the nether. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And before we get inside the nether, let's test out all the swords we have. We know what the invisible sword does. Now, let's see what the lightning sword does. So, there's a cow. There's two cows here. So, now, if I hit this cow with this... What the heck was that? That cow literally just got destroyed. I am so, I feel so sorry to for that cow, dude. I'm so sorry. Now we know what this thing does. I am so glad I didn't use this on the creepers and stuff. Now what about the dripstone sword? So if I if I I'm I'm just gonna back up once I hit the cow, because these swords, they are dangerous for me as well. So now if I hit this cow with this thing. Oh, I get it now. So the dripstones fall from the sky on top of the mobs that that I hit. Okay, cool. You are now dead. Uh, yeah, it's dead. Okay, cool. The explosive sword. Oh gosh. Here we go. I 
I don't like this, honestly, but let's see what it does. Now, let's see what this thing does. So, so if I hit it... Wait, hold on, hold on. What the heck was that? Hold on, hold on. Get everything. No way. That was sick. You gotta be... You gotta be joking. You gotta be joking. That... Oh, my goodness. That creeper. It came out of nowhere. Where did it even come from? Oh, gosh. Whatever charged creeper from where did that come from oh okay you know you want to blow up buddy you, let's go let's go you want to blow up let's go oh my goodness that took away a lot of my shield durability though all right that's totally fine i am glad none of my items were blown away holy crap that creeper came out of nowhere what the heck oh well hello there we also got a creeper's head i'll take that all right we got this it's time for us to get inside the nether so let's do that let's get inside the nether and here we are we are inside the nether we are in crimson forest let me first of all collect my portal real quick now it's time for us to find either a warped forest or a nether fortress so yeah of course let's see what we find first a few moments later all right well warped forest it is we found the warped forest and here we are we are inside the warped forest as well now where are all the endermans there's one enderman right there it's time for us to kill some endermans for ender pearls <laughs> We are done. Yup, we have a stack and two ender pearls. Yep, that's enough. Let's get out of here. Let's find a nether fortress now. Oh, and there it is. We found it. We found the nether fortress. Oh, that's it. We found it. We found the blaze spawner. Yup, there we go. There's the blaze spawner right there. But now, guys, it's time for us to kill some blazes for blaze rods. Oh, man, I'm done. You guys can stay where you are right now and you guys stop bothering me, okay? I'm not gonna bother you and stuff. I am so glad there was two blaze spawners here. Because that one right there was just too much. Everywhere you see, there's blazes. Oh, okay, now it's time for us to get out of the freaking nether. I don't like this nether at all. Boom, there we go. The portal is done. Let's light it up. And now it's time for us to get back to the overworld. And here we are. We are back in the overworld. And why did I get the subspace bubble achievement? I don't know. And honestly, I don't care. As always, let me turn all the blaze rods into blaze powders. And the blaze powders. And the ender pearls into eyes of ender. We have 18. We can get a lot more if we find more endermans and stuff. But now, it's time for us to craft the next custom sword. And all we need to do is for that inside the crafting table. One stick right over there. One gold block on top. Just like that. And one eye offender below the gold block we get the knowledge book when we click it we get a netherite sword structure sword oh nah dude this sounds cr nah 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 this is crazy okay i i have to test it out no other choice this is gonna be fun but hold on a minute there's one last custom sword left and we can craft it right now like right away so inside the crafting table oh you guys remember this dragon's head so if i put the dragon's head on top just like that one stick right there and one eye offender just right there in the middle we can get the knowledge book when we click it we get a golden sword ender sword um okay that sounds cool dude ender i think i might get teleported or something i don't i have to test it out bro i am so curious right now and um you know what before i test any of these custom swords let me get some food a little longer than a few minutes later okay we have food for days 34 cooked mutton and four cooked pork chop yep that's a lot and that's more than enough now let's see what the structure sword does first of all so if i hit the pig random structure oh shipwreck okay so i just summon in some random structures that can also include stronghold i'm pretty sure all right well let's see what's there inside this oh some iron i'll take that and a lot of gold i'll take the holy crap that was great now what about the ender sword what does that do so if i hit this pig oh i teleport randomly i Yes? Is that, is that how it works? I don't know. Let's test out again. Yeah, that's how it works. Okay, that's useless. Come on now. Give me stronghold. That's all I'm asking. Is this? 
No, we can get Totem of Undying. Let's do that. Let's get a Totem of Undying. I don't care. And there's the Evoker right there. Can you stop summoning in all these Vexes? Please, I'm trying to get your... Okay, your Totem of Undying, and we got it. That You know what? That's enough. Let's just get out of here. One is enough. Oh, we just found the end city. That's what I'm talking about. And there's the Elytra right there. That's what I'm talking about. Just give me the Elytra, please. There it is. We got the Elytra, and... Prote protection? No way. No freaking protection for I'll take that. And yeah, yeah, efficiency. Yeah, I'll take that as well. And uh, more diamonds. I'll take that. Fire protection four. Okay, cool. Oh my goodness. Look at what is happening. There's a lot of things happening right now. What? Okay, yup. Uh, I am done. Uh, give me that helmet, please. Yup, this is definitely not working out. Uh, you know what? It's time for us to manually find the stronghold. One eternity later. Oh, wait. Is it? It's going down. Oh, this is a weird place to be. Like, the stronghold. This is... What the heck is this place even? I don't care. I don't know uh, where is the eye offender gone. Did it break? I guess it broke. Anyways, we have 11. Hopefully, there's one eye offender in the portal room. Hopefully, yeah. Oh, and there it is. We found it. We found the stronghold. And here we are inside the stronghold as well. Now, we just have to find the portal room. Holy crap. This stronghold is really weird. What the heck is wrong with the stronghold? Oh, and there it is. I see the silver fish spawner. And here we are. We are inside the portal room as well now let me see if oh wow okay we have perfectly enough of eye offender to fill the portal up and let's do that let's fill the portal up and boom there we go oh boom there we go the portal is done let me just go ahead and set my spawn point right here and now it's time for us to get inside the end and defeat the ender dragon once and for all so let's do that we have all the custom swords in our hot bar and right now we are looking pretty good it's time for us to get inside the end so let's do that let's freaking do this let's beat the ender dragon let's go and here we are we are inside the end and there's the ender dragon bar we are in the middle and there's the ender dragon right there now it's time for us to first of all take down all the end crystals and boom there we go all of these end crystals are down now the ender dragon has to purse that's all that is left for us to do kill the ender dragon and wait for it to purse can you please purse right now ender dragon i stop wasting my time and there it is the ender dragon is purging first of all let's use the invisible sword i mean it's technically not invisible but still let's see if it affects the ender dragon it doesn't i i don't think so what about the lightning sword okay that does as well. What about the explosive? Oh my goodness. What the heck was that? Dude, what is going on? I'm dead. Am I dead? Dude, I am on one heart right now. So whenever I use this sword, the explosive sword, I summon in charge creepers. These custom swords works even when you take damage, the player that is holding it. So that is why there's a lot of creepers and stuff here. Okay, so the dripstone also doesn't work on the ender dragon. But I died. I died. Oh my goodness. I hate this so much. Okay, yeah, I'm done. I'm just gonna kill the Ender Dragon without any custom swords or anything. Because that is just way too OP. And there it is. The Ender Dragon is hurting. Now, give me your head, Ender Dragon. Oh my gosh, there we go. It's already halfway down. Come on, a little bit more damage. Please, don't, don't leave. It left. Are you serious? That's another and hopefully the last perch for the Ender Dragon. Come on, deal some good damage. Come on, please, just die already okay let me use the explosive sword again i don't know why i just did that but oh my goodness and the ender dra hold up what is happening what is happening to the ender dra i'm so sorry ender dragon i don't know what just happened did it die i don't think so it just got yeeted um hello what the heck was that where did the ender dragon go i cannot hear it i cannot see it i don't know where it went oh and there it is there's the dragon right there i don't know but i think it came from the space dude it, it went so high up anyways come on ender dragon one last part and you are surely dead. One last hit. Ah, uh, come on. Ender Dragon, can you purge? Oh, it's purging. Perfect. Now, finally, give me 
your head and there's your head right there but guys if you guys have enjoyed the video make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and boom there we go the dragon is now dead i am so sorry oh it doesn't actually work when a mob dies the sword the custom sword okay whatever i don't even care there's the dragon egg right there and oh boom we got it we got the dragon's egg anyways as i said before guys make sure to hit the like button hit the subscribe button and the notification bell check out the data pack right now the link is down in the description you guys can also have fun and also get frustrated get upset and stuff just like me but anyways guys i'll see you guys in the next video but until then have a great day see ya bye